Hello! In today's video we're going to be talking about the different polyatomic ions that we're going to come across as a chemist. Now there are a lot of different polyatomic ions that are, out, that are out there, lots and lots and lots of them, and you're not going to have to memorize all of them. You are only going to be required to memorize seven different polyatomic ions, and these are the seven that you will need to memorize. So for these polyatomic ions, you'll need to know the formula with the charge, you'll need to know the name of that polyatomic ion as well. So let's quickly go through these seven polyatomic ions, how we name with them, how we write a formula with them. So the first one is the only positively charged polyatomic ion. It's the only cation for our list of polyatomic ions, and that is ammonium. It's NH4+. So if you've ever heard of the word ammonium, uh, in any of the compounds, uh, it, it's used a lot of times in salts that you see in food additives. This is what they're talking about. Uh, going down, all three of these polyatomic anions, they're negatively charged, have a minus one charge. So we have nitrate, chlorate, and hydroxide. So these are our minus one polyatomic anions. Our minus two polyatomic anions are sulfate and carbonate. And then our, we only have one minus three polyatomic ion, and that is phosphate. Now, some of you may know a few of the other polyatomic ions from your high school days or just picking up the lingo as you went along in your life. We are only required in this course to memorize these seven polyatomic ions. So let's do an example with, let's say, nitrate. So if we wanted to write the compound, the formula for sodium nitrate, sodium nitrate. This gives you the naming system. It's very similar to our ionic naming system that we saw previously with main group metals and transition metals. But here, we, we still do the cation is written first, right? And here, since this is a metal, a main group metal, we just write the name of the metal. So this is just sodium. We don't change any of the naming system. Now for the polyatomic anion, or anion it's even easier than we have seen previously. All you do is write out the name of the polyatomic. So this is sodium nitrate. You do not have to change the ending of the nitrate. So if we were to write this, we would know that sodium is in group 1A. It has a plus one charge, nitrate, uh, NO3 minus. And so if we were to cross multiply, our formula would be NaNO3. So this is the formula for sodium nitrate. This is how we would write the, the name for sodium nitrate. So that's one example. Let's try a different example. Let's try calcium nitrate. Calcium. So here we know that calcium is found in the group 2A. Nitrate is still NO3 minus. So just like we have done previously with all of our ionic bonds, we're gonna cross multiply, we're gonna bring the two down, we're gonna bring the one down here, and what we're going to see is we're going to get Ca with a 1, but we remember we do not write 1s. And then the nitrate. The nitrate is special. We want to make sure that we understand as a scientist that the nitrate, that there are two full nitrates. So we can't just simply put the 2 right next to the 3 because that would look like 32 oxygens. So what we need to do is we need to somehow separate out this nitrate. And the way we do that is with parentheses. So we'll put parentheses around our polyatomic, and then on the outside of the parentheses, we will put the two uh, to balance out the charges. So for calcium nitrate, we would have the single calcium because it has a plus two, so it only requires one of those. It requires two nitrates because each one has a minus one, so to balance out that positive two, we need two of them. We would put the nitrate with parentheses around it and a two on the outside of those parentheses, indicating that there are actually two nitrate molecules attached to or uh, 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 interacting with this calcium 2 plus. Okay? So we can see how this is going to work. You only are required to put parentheses if it's above, if it's a 2 or above as the subscript. A 1 never gets parentheses around the polyatomic ion. So here are our seven polyatomic ions. We have one cation, we have six anions, uh, we have three anions that are minus one, two anions that are minus two, one anion that is minus three. Uh, we have the naming system. We say the name of the cation, and then we just say the name of the polyatomic. Okay. Pretty simple. 
Uh, the formula is written slightly differently. The polyatomic, if there's more than one of them, we have to put a parenthesis around that polyatomic and indicate how many of those polyatomics are needed to balance out the charge with a, a subscript on the outside of, the, of that parenthesis. So with that, I want to say have a great night. I'll see you all in class.